Hi all out there and welcome for visiting my channel. Hi, this is Shannon and my channel name is Beauty on a Budget. Today we will be doing a Christmas in July. Yes, Christmas in July. And I will be reviewing three of my favorite Gooseberry Patch books. They are cookbooks slash decorating um, gift idea books. And I do collect them and these were three of my Christmas collections that I um, have my favorite recipes in that I will be sharing with you tonight on this glorious Christmas of July occasion. Yes, guys, can you believe that Christmas is only six months away? Crazy, isn't it? Well, I hope that this video will get you past thinking about the negatives of the virus and the pandemic that's going on and just bring you a little cheer in your life and maybe some of my favorite recipes you will use in your house or with your children to make and enjoy as a family. Well, yes, let me show you the books that, I am, that I'm going to review. This first one is called Merry Christmas. And look at how pretty that is. It has a gingerbread cookie with the tree cookie. And the two cups of hot cocoa with the marshmallows and the peppermint stick. Isn't that beautiful? And this next one is probably my oldest one in my series for Christmas. You can see the, the, like, the difference in the patterns. This just has a door welcoming people into their home with the wreath and the little tree. And my next one is probably my newest one. It's called Magic of Christmas, and it has a beautiful snowman with a scarf and a hat. Very pretty. And these are all written by Vicki and Joanne. And these are through the years, what they look like. That's one pick. And here's another pick. And this is my oldest book's pick, which was probably one of their first pictures. Yes, they're very beautiful ladies, and I give you a little, um, bio about them. It says, um, this was in their words. How did Gooseberry Patch get started? We can't believe it's been over 18 years. Gooseberry Patch started one day after one, one day over the backyard fence. Though neither of us had any experience, Joanne was a first grade school teacher and Vicki a flight attendant and legal secretary. We shared a love of antiques and country decorating. We decided to try our hands at the mail order business. Wow, mail order. We decided uh, since we both had young children, this was perfect with, for us. We could work from our kitchen tables and keep an eye on the kids too. As our children grew, so did our little business. We moved into our old building in the country and filled the shelves to the brims with the cookie cutters, candles, Santas, angels, snowmen, and our very own line of cookbooks. We're so glad you're a part of our Gooseberry family. Isn't that wonderful? And these books are so old that it gives you an 800 number for a free catalog of country delights. Wow. But there is a website that you could access. It's www.gooseberrypatch.com for an updated list on cookbooks. And I've also found some on Amazon.com at really cheap prices. And I've looked on the, it says buy new or used. I've always clicked on the used section. And usually your Goodwill sells through Amazon. And you can maybe find them. One time I found one for a dollar twenty nine with only two ninety nine shipping. So to bring the book home to my collection was only four dollars and forty nine cents. Yes guys. Gooseberry patch, four dollars and forty nine cents, awesome bargain. Well let's get into this. So let me see. I have some treats that you can make with your children or your grandchildren or your nieces or nephews or just kids that you know. Okay, my first one would be, I make this all year round, but I always follow the same recipe, but I do make it all year round, but it's an awesome Christmas morning dessert. It's called Cinnamon Sugar Donuts. 
And the original recipe came from Joanne Euchre in Redwood, Washington. And she put, I started making these years ago as a Girl Scout leader. Now my daughters and I love to make them together. Okay, you only have four ingredients. Tea, one is two teaspoonfuls of oil. Well, what I do is I oil them really good. Seven half ounce two refrigerated biscuits. It doesn't matter like how much many biscuits you have, as long as you can fry them all good enough. You can buy the big tube, the half a tube, the pounder, the two pounder, whatever to your dandy. Cinnamon to taste and sugar to taste. Okay, so I'm going to break this recipe down into how I do it. What I do is I add my oil. I get my frying pan. I put oil in it. I let the oil cook. And then I ball my, um, my um, refrigerated biscuits into a ball, flatten them up, throw them in the oil, fry them, make till they're brown, pull them out, put my sugar and cinnamon to the side, I take my donut and I dip dip the hot donut in the sugar. I roll it around in the sugar and then I take the cinnamon. I put it in a shaker. I forgot to mention that part. And I shake the cinnamon onto my little donut. And then I put, I make about, maybe about 30 of them. So I do like two big tubes of um, refrigerated biscuit dough. So yeah, and then I just take it, put it in the fridge for about an hour, let them cool, and serve. You could serve them hot, you could serve them cold, whatever you're liking. But I like them for more than Christmas morning. I think now that the kids are out of school, that'd be a fun thing for them to do. But I would recommend them do them at about 13 and up, where they could actually um, handle hot stuff. You know, they know like not to tough it, touch if it's really hot. But yeah, that's a really cool Christmas um, dessert. And let me see here. Um, well, this is a really happy, like, fun one for little ones. And I just want to say that my recipes are usually four to five ingredients long. So you don't have to go out and buy a lot of stuff. This is called Candied Popcorn. And it's by Judy Kelly of St. Charles, Missouri. And you only need four ingredients for this one. And it's eight cups of popcorn popped. So I buy microwave popcorn because I don't want to do all that stove work if I don't have to. And that's about two bags of regular sized bags of popcorn. Which you could find at the Dollar Tree. And I just want to say at your local Dollar Tree you could find most of these ingredients. So it would save you a lot of money. But yeah, I don't work for the Dollar Tree and no affiliation. I just had personal experience. But yes, so you need eight cups of popcorn puffed. I'm sorry. Popcorn popped. Three cups of corn puffed cereal. Now these recipes are so old that they used to sell corn puffed cereal. But now you could buy like sugar smacks, um... Honey, I forgot what they're called, Honey Smacks, or um, any kind of like honey, I forgot what they're called, but God, oh Lord. But yeah, um, just like Sugar Smacks or stuff like that, Honey Smacks. And two cups of corn chips, slightly crushed, and a 16 ounce bag of white chocolate. Okay, so in a large mixing bowl, you're going to throw your popcorn in your cereal, and remember you have to crush up your corn chips. You're going to melt the chocolate on the stove and carefully pour it over your popcorn mixture. Toss the coat evenly, spread on wax paper for three to four hours to dry, and it makes about 13 cups. Now what I do is instead of um, leaving it out to dry, I put it in the fridge. It saves, it saves on dry, dry time. And I let it um, chill in the fridge, so it's an easier way to cut time. Instead of waiting three to four hours, you only wait like an hour and a half. If the kids are like, oh my, I want popcorn, you'll have it within really quick for them to eat and enjoy. Okay? I'm sorry I'm all over the place. I just have all my recipes in different parts of the book. And let me see. Oh, I 
had a couple more in this one. Maybe I don't, but I could remember. I don't want to waste you guys' time. Oh, this sounds really good. It's a recipe. It's called Grandma's Gooey Butter Cake. Yummy served warm or cold. And it's by Denise Ellis of Gig Harbor, Washington. And all you need is one, a half a cup of butter, four eggs, 18 quarter ounce yellow cake mix, eight ounce packaged cream cheese softened, and one pound powdered sugar divided. Blend together butter and two eggs. Stir in cake mix. Press into a greased 13 by nine baking dish. Combine cream cheese, remaining eggs, and all but a quarter cup powdered sugar. Pour over crust. Bake at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. Top of remaining quarter cup powdered sugar. Mix eight to 10 servings. Wow guys, that sounds really yummy. So you're only going to need a box of yellow cake mix, four eggs, butter, cream cheese, and powdered sugar. That is really nice to make a grandma's gooey butter cake. That just sounds fantastic right now because I am like starving. I haven't had my dinner yet and it's like wow, you know. That sounds really good. It sounds really easy to make. And um, I want to try it. So I'm going to like thumbtack it on my paper. But yeah, okay, so I saw a little quote in here that I like, and it's called bringing family and friends together. Christmas day, make it day, make it a day of fun filled memories. Watch all the parades or pop your favorite holiday DVD into your player. It's a great way to unwind after the morning's excitement. You may even you may even sneak in a little nap. Build a cozy fire. Toast marshmallows. Make s'mores. Yum. Yeah, that does sound good. After dinner, linger at the table. Pull out all the holiday cards or letters you've received and share your favorites. Visit friends and neighbors. It's fun to see what Santa brought them. Encourage everyone to sing favorite Christmas carols. It doesn't matter if you're off key, you'll be sensational. Get outside, take a walk, build a snowman, go shedding, sledding, enjoy the day together. Before everyone goes to bed, hold hands and say a prayer. Make this a Christmas to remember always. In this day of this terrible pandemic, we all really need to get together and just, you know, be with each other. And if you can't be with each other physically, FaceTime your family and friends. Go on YouTube, make a sentimental video, um, call, get on your phone, you know, get the kids off their tablets and their playstations and have their call their loved ones in nursing homes and just check up on one another. And we can do this, guys, and we can get through this. Yes. But um, God is with us always, and um, we are going to have a wonderful year this year. And Christmas is coming, so let's rejoice, our Savior. And I just want to say I want to thank you for visiting my channel. This is part one of a two-part series. And I hope to see you in the next part. And I want to say Merry Christmas. And thank you for visiting. And if you like the content, please like and subscribe below. You take care and Merry Christmas.